Do you take hours to fall asleep? Have you ever had a full night's sleep and felt completely miserable afterwards? My sister has a horrific time sleeping, she rarely does. When she manages to get some shut eye, she sneaks in either 2 4 hours or 14 hours. It's bad. Various therapists and sleeping experts couldn't help. All they wanted to do was prescribe her sleeping meds. Screens, in most cases a smartphone, are the number one reason why people can't sleep. Blinded by the blue light and LED screens, our brain shuts down the release of melatonin. Melatonin is known as the sleep hormone, which controls our body clock. iPads, phones, TVs, laptops, anything with a screen must be eliminated. If you are prone to waking up in the middle of night grabbing your device and checking social media for a minute or two, you won't find it a good way to doze back asleep. Resist the urge to grab your smartphone or laptop and assess why you think you woke up in the first place. Believe it or not, 20-minute power naps have been shown to drastically increase productivity in the workplace. Even if you've had your body's sleeping allocation for the day, naps increase alertness, creativity and enhances our mood. Adjust your biological clock and help it do what it's meant to by going to sleep every night at the same time if it can be helped. A Stienville sleeping pattern aligns your bio clock to recognize when it is time to sleep. This is crucial towards ensuring a full night's luxurious sleep. Sometimes sleeping schedules go astray. That's life things happen. Try your best to get back on track as soon as time permits. Serotonin and melatonin are neurotransmitters that help you sleep. To get those transmitters, your brain needs tryptophan, an essential amino acid found in Turkey. Turkey is loaded with tryptophan, which could explain why you feel incredibly sleepy at Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. Other foods that send you to sweet dreamland are whether your loved one is snoring away, the neighbors are noisy, your house guests are in the other room chatting away, or your family is blaring the TV, some noises never stop. Short of letting everybody in your house know that you're trying to sleep, consider purchasing quality custom-made earplugs. If those are a no-go, have a look for sleep-specific noise-canceling headphones. Be sure the phones are fit for sleeping in. Regular cardiovascular exercise, running, swimming, burpees, etc. dramatically improves the quality and duration of your shut-eye time. The body needs only 30 minutes of intense aerobic exercise for our body heat to remain high. It stays high for around 4 hours. During your body's cool down period, your brain will be receiving frequent signals that it's time for sleep.
This is made possible through the release of melatonin, the sleep hormone. I've talked about melatonin so much because it is that important for a good night's rest. Not being able to turn off our minds is a giant problem. They're a dial that can't be turned off. I used to worry about things like, I'm not alone in experiencing those feelings. These fears hang in the balance of many people's minds. A way to clear the air and form a response for them is to simply jot them down. Yo, you can jot them down in a journal, notebook, stationary pad, etc. Writing down every one of your woes and thoughts by hand empties the mental clutter so you can have a spiritually nourishing slumber. This steers your mind clear of thinking about them. Another thing you can do while we're on the subject of cleaning is to shower and brush your teeth. If you feel dirty you're going to obsess about it just as you would with your mental clogs. Relax your muscles by tensing them as hard as you possibly can without straining yourself, holding them for a few moments and then release the tension. This form of muscle relaxation, which also fights stress, usually accompanied by rhythmic breathing, helps relax the mind as well as your body. Try it tonight while you're lying on your back. You aren't going anywhere. Are you? Most studies demonstrate that room temperatures of between 62 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit (17-21 degrees Celsius) seem to work best for sleeping. The reason is that our core body temperature drops at night. In fact, this drop is a signal to the brain to say good night. A warm room can inhibit this process. Where you sleep has just as much importance as what you do to prepare for bed. I'm sure you've heard by now that the bed should be reserved for a deep night's natural sleeping and lovemaking. Which is fine. However, how much stock have you put into the rest of your bedroom? It's been well known that a messy, untidy room piles stress on our psychological well-being. Here are a few ways you can maximize your bedroom's good vibes for a comfier sleep starting today. Consider some of these techniques or all of them when you're about to hit the hay tonight. Don't put yourself through another catastrophic sleep by waiting until tomorrow. Stop being miserable in your day today and do something about your sleep habits. Your mind, body, and life health and friends will thank you for choosing to make a positive difference. It certainly has in my beloved sister's sleep schedule in no time at all.